This is how I create a group column chart which can effectively compare two different columns. The first thing I have to do is to drop a bar chart. Place your cursor anywhere on your data set, press Ctrl A to select the whole data set, and press Alternate F1 to drop a bar chart. Now resize and reposition your bar chart. Next, we're going to customize our bar chart. Go to Chart Design while selecting a bar chart. Go to Change Chart Type. In here, you're going to select Combo on the left-hand side menu, and you're going to make both series a clustered column, and select Secondary Axis for your second series, and click on OK. At this point, this is what your bar chart should look like. Now to modify the axis a bit, select your secondary axis and press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard to launch your format axis. Make sure you are selecting the axis option like this. Now we're going to make the maximum value on your secondary axis as double of what you see. I'm going to set mine as 30 and press enter. And after that, select your primary axis and you're going to make the minimum value double on the negative side from your previous secondary axis maximum value. Mine's going to be minus 30 like that and press enter. At this point, you can see that the two bar charts are separated. Now go ahead and add a secondary axis while selecting your chart. Go to chart design, add chart element, axis and add the secondary horizontal axis. At this point, your bar chart looks a bit messy. Don't panic. Select your secondary axis and press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard. Make sure you change your horizontal axis cross to automatic. And then after that, while we're here, go to labels and let's remove our secondary axis by putting it to none and then select your primary axis and also let's hide our primary axis as well by setting the label to none let's close our format axis pop up here and after that we're going to add some data labels here right click on the blue bar chart add data labels and do the same thing with the orange bar chart as well okay let's see what else is missing here oh, okay next we'll add a grid line go ahead and select your horizontal grid line like this here and just press delete on your keyboard and after that while selecting your bar chart go to add chart element grid line and let's add the primary major vertical and after that let's give the chart a title maybe call it activities and close the format chart title and that's it